Hey guys, how's it going? Indulger here once again with another Fire Emblem Heroes video for you. Today we've got Ether Raids, the final day of week 49. This is day 7. Alright, uh, as I've mentioned at the start of the week, few format changes. I'm not doing a week in review video, so... Let's try to emulate what we would do in those videos, and like I said in the past, uh, we'll start watching some of the defense reviews just in time. So we got one uh, overnight, or well, three hours ago, in the wee hours of the morning here. Let's take a look. This is going to lock in my defensive score, which was minus 80 for the week, which is pretty good. I'll take that. <laughs> it ended up being um, a lot of free wins by default because no one fought me because I was in that high ranks this whole time. So we've got Looks like a Vantage team, I'm guessing. They don't have the right Hector. Let's see what happens. So we got fought by Kranya earlier in the week, but it had the new duo Hector. Did a pretty good job of taking this out. Let's see how well this one does. They're doing the same thing. They're going on the right side. Okay, so basically trying to use the Bolt Towers equivalent, so... They decided to go there. The other one that we fought took out our Alm. See, that's a problem. They're going to have to deal with Alm's Lunar Flash off the bat. Did they not see that? Maybe they did and they didn't like it. Maybe they were trying to kill me. But now they've missed their opportunity. Like, what happened? That's not good. <laughs> they missed their opportunity. And they're going for it anyway? No, they don't like that either. Oh no, this is just, this doesn't look good at all. Alright, third opportunity. I guess they were going for the Ophelia. Why would that help? Because you would, maybe they're going for, I don't know what they were doing exactly. Let's look at how this turns out. Oh, Ninian stays alive. Ah, oh, couldn't actually. I mean, Alm should kill her now, or Makaya, it doesn't matter. They both have hardy bearing. At this point, most people would just quit, but it looks like they keep going. And they just run out of time. So. Thanks for the fight, Flat for Justice. <laughs> uh, okay, that will do it for defense. I'm not going to show anything else. We showed a few yesterday. Um, yeah, that wraps out the week two. Minus 80. One of my better results. I mean, that's going to get us perfect score, so I'll take it. All right, what next? Let's look at some mock battles. I promised a couple people yesterday I would look at their fights. Let's start with e EU. I'm just going to call you EU. Ew. All right. We've got a plus 10 Sonya. I got to I got to uh uh mention something. I'm pretty sure you you uh changed your your uh your team just to counter me. I'm a little suspicious because I'm pretty sure I fought you in the past and I didn't have too much trouble. Looks like we've got a plus four Flora with Horfrost Knife with a bunch of defense and special spiral. That's actually really good counter to Ike. She doesn't even need um, she doesn't even need Hardy Bearing to to really screw with Ike. I can show that maybe really quickly. Um, yeah, well, let's do that. Let's just like uh, I can beat this team. I would I can beat it in a way I would probably never do so. Well, let me just show you real quickly, if I just went for it, how that would function. Probably in a way I would test if this was a real fight. So, this Flora is really scary. <laughs> so we've got, and there's also a Sonya coming around the mountain. The problem with this set is there's two dancers and I've, I've given up an air. Someone's dead here, so... But you can see she just wiped Ike. 
So if you want a good Ike counter, this is a good example of how to do it without having to use Hardy Bearing. Floor is just weapon. It's just awful. And in this case, I mean, they're running Sturdy Impacts, which I can't run. I can't kill her with Quick Repost. And because she's got so much death, 4, 14, 34 death, she's in the 50s. That's pretty scary. All right, so if I actually did attempt that, I gotta keep in mind, if I see a Flora like that, I got to disengage, so. I did find a solution to this, ew. So let me show you how that works, if I remember how to do it. It involves, it involves Bolt Tower and patience. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is set up my airs on the left to get that ether. Get it immediately, run out of here, and then set up Ike. For turn three when Bolt Tower hits. And this is the only solution I found to this map. And I would never do this in a fight, but I, I probably need to start considering it. Because when you're fighting two dancers and a thing that can kill you in a follow-up, you gotta get rid of one of the dancers. This is what I've, I've found in my travels. So if I smite, Ike up here, and again, sorry, Lucina, we gotta, we gotta go for a minute. We gotta take this Ninian out to start. That debuffs everyone. That does help, and we should be able to pinch people to the point where they can't hit us now. So, Lucina's just gonna stick behind, good old Astrum there, and we'll get our airs back into the middle to make sure no one can hit them. And this should work. So we're going to take a Flora hit. Get healed a little bit. Yeah, and that's what happened. There's a Rally Trap. I'm pretty sure if the Dancer would have just danced... Flora, I'm dead. But I utilized a Rally Trap to... Basically avoid it. Sonya just uh, rallied. Azura danced her, and that was it. Now I can get rid of the <laughs> huge threat on the field. And everything else should just fall now. Yes. We'll get in formation. <laughs> so, Asothis and Asonia are certainly strong, but I have an Aether coming up right here. I get a little bit back, and I should be able to survive the rest of the shenanigans here. I've got all the pots. Oh, I'm going to get another Sothis bomb, but not enough. And then this Fae is just not strong enough. That, that was a stronger unit. I'd probably die there, but... Again, would I ever do this? Probably not. Probably not. So you did a pretty good job of countering me, ew. Um, yeah, that, that floor is, is nasty. That's a pretty good hard counter for an Ike if you can get one. That was a plus four, but I imagine if... I mean, it's pretty expensive, too. You throw a sturdy impact in there. That's a good unit to put sturdy impact on, though. So, Okay, thanks, ew. Um, that was disgusting. Thank you. There was a couple other people I think I wanted, I promised today. I know there's a, pup, a couple in this list I've already scrolled past that I haven't got to you yet, but specifically, see, I feel like I've already messed one up. I got a new user who was adamant they wanted to be seen today, so I'm going to get them. It's Rat Rad Ray. Welcome to Rat. Welcome to the channel, buddy. We've got a plus 10 rice here. <laughs> I don't think this is your defense team, right? So um, let's take a look at this. is pretty. This is pretty good too. This is another decent hard counter for Ike. You would think so. I mean, we've got a Black Knight here that's plus ten with Death Blow four and Sturdy Blow. Black Luna, of course, is, treats defense loss by eighty percent. Unfortunately, Ike's got the same thing. So this is an epic battle between guy who killed my father. And Ike, I think I can just do this. I need to set up, again, yes. my heirs to go get the pots over there. Oh, I think I screwed up. Because I needed to have my ash from over here. I don't know. Let's just try it one more time. I always forget when I push. I gotta, yeah, there we go. That should do it. So we should be able to push Ike immediately to start. Again, this double up 
buffs. I'm gonna challenge Black Knight right off the bat after Cecilia loosens me up. Oh. Did Black Knight just not... Why didn't you move? Oh, it was ground orders that gets shenanigans to be afoot, and it didn't happen, so... Okay. Well, from here, I avoided Black Knight. The, the ground orders... This is a ground order set. And did I go over everybody's skills? Probably not. I'm notoriously bad for doing that, guys. I apologize. This is a plus 10, plus 3, plus 5 Cecilia, and then we've got a dead Makai. We'll show in a second. Uh, what would I do? I'd probably just lock and load. No one's coming. I'm getting hit there. Should be able to finish this Cecilia off. And now it just becomes a matter of racing to the finish. I think I can do that. Everybody's dying. Just need to get out of here. I think we're done. So we're just going to do that. Unless that's the trap. And then Lucina can't, I can't shove her. Is it a 60 trap though? I, in real, in real practice, I probably wouldn't do this. I'm not sure I'll kill Black Knight anyway. Was it a 60 heavy? Wow, it was a 60 heavy. Okay. Yeah, like I said, in, in actuality, I don't think I'd actually do that, but I didn't finish him anyway because Lucina wasn't there to give buffs, and it worked out, so. Thanks, Rat. Appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, the, the, let me know. I'm not trying to discount that team. That's a scary team. I tried that. I guess I could show that with... I probably should just show both my Dark and... Um, I'm sorry, my Astra and Light teams, but uh, that kind of caused me problems for Astra. Kangas could not withstand all that the furious assault there. Is there anybody else that I, I promised today? I swear I had somebody else. I don't know. If you're on my friends list and you want to see a fight next week, let me know. I'll get to you. Apologize. My morning brain's not here yet. Okay, what else? So we got offense coming up. Any other news I've showed? Yeah, let's do a summoning session. How about that? We've got a new banner today. I haven't got all the tickets yet because I was stuck at a, a times one multiplier and I'm not going to blow all my stamina for that. So we'll just do one summon. We've got... I don't know who I want, guys. I actually haven't looked at this banner much at all. We've got a... Cav Green. I don't know any of these units other than Catria, and I had no idea that Catria was in this game. I've not played Echoes yet. I have it. I haven't played it. Don't... I mean, that healer is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that was like a witchy wand, wasn't it? Um, I suppose let's look at the thing. I haven't actually looked at any of these units. Catria looks pretty good with his preferred weapon. With Harsh Command Plus and a nice bond. We've got Foresight here, who's just a... Oh, he's an armor... Lance, interesting, with a preferred weapon. Python, another green bow user. Python looks like the demote. That looks like demote to me, guys. Do we have blue tone breaker in anything yet? Is that the one that's on Robin? That's got to be a demote, right? We, we, that's got to be a demote. And then we got another inheritable melancholy. This is sort of like witchy wand. Is that what that is? Okay. It's like a better witchy one. With guard? So I'm not sure who I want. 
Oh, this, can I, I was wondering how this was working. So we got a new unit to the pool and the three, four. Okay, interesting. So if we want to try to get Valbar, we should pull blue. We'll see how this works. <laughs> do I really want to summon on red again? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Maybe I should have went green because we don't have racing yet. Clearly the wrong choice. We got good old Marth. We don't need Marth. We got plus 10 Marth. Okay. Let's get to the main event now. And unfortunately, this is going to be kind of anticlimactic. I believe this is the first time this has ever happened in the history of the channel. But we've got one ladder left. And some decisions to make. I got a bunch of rematches. But, like I said, this has never happened before. I've actually fought Zero on public. So I know I can beat him. Right? Unless he's changed, he or she have changed their defense, I can beat him. So let's do it. This could be a grave mistake. Maybe they've changed to something that would be an eye counter because they've seen me and they know I'm coming. Do they have, is it that big brain? Do you think they were that smart? Did someone inform them of my intention? Let's do it. They are 26. They did have a pretty good setup, but it is the same setup. So if you recall, we fought this on day five, if I'm not mistaken. And it took a little bit of effort and thinking, but we did do it. And I wasn't as aggressive as I thought I needed to be. I didn't go for the Dark Shrine when I could have immediately. But this time, I don't need the Ether Pots. So, again, let's meet the teams. I suppose I should at least show you. <laughs> Somebody asked yesterday how many mergers are on my Ike. Four. We've got two on air, two on this air. These are my buffers. And there you have it. All right. I would be really sad if I somehow managed to screw up something I've already beat. But it's possible. This is not an easy team. I mean, it's not... This is some pretty intense things. We got plus 10... Pretty much everything. If I recall correctly, all I did was just come up the middle. I can... Oh, that's right. I broke the healing tower. I'm going to try something different this time. We do have Cancer Azura here. We do have a rally. My only concern is that somehow Deirdre would get free cause some chaos over here. So I'm going to try a different tactic. I'm going to break this Dark Shrine. Although, why? I beat it. Why would I just do the same thing I did? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to start up here. Again, I probably should have put Astrum up there. But I didn't. The glimmer of life. Still can. I mean, I could move Ike there. It's turn two. Move Ike here. Move Astrum where Ike is standing. Ike moves here. Astrum moves here. And then I, I smite or uh, shove up. Let's try something different. I was a little sad I didn't do this last time, so. Let's turn two. I'm going to break this. Again, let me think about it. Break this. Do I need to break it? I don't really need to. But I'm going to anyway because I'm stupid. Ike moves here. Astra moves where Ike's standing. Lucina's is here. End turn. Next turn. I can't do that. I can't do that exactly. Because I want to break that healing tower. But I'm going to do it anyway. Yes. 
Is there any need for the heirs? Again, I'm sorry for talking, like, thinking when I've already beat this team, but I, I am doing something different than I did last time. I'm getting more buffs, and I've broken the, the structure. Let's talk about it again. So, it should be a... I'm pretty sure Ryoma Harsh commanded last time. I'm just going to put the heirs over here. Because I don't want them to get hit. That is the same thing that happened. Yep, harsh command. I hit. This time I take less damage. Came pretty close to death. Looks like we're going to get the same result. Okay. This time I don't need either. So I'm just gonna end turn. It's really close. I mean it was pretty close. It's all for you. Your orders. Orders. Very well then. Understood. Don't need to eat there. We're just going to wrap it up. And that is the end of the week. Again, sorry for fighting the same thing again, but I had an opportunity to do it. You have to do it, guys. Don't you? Don't you have to do that? All right. So, what a brilliant time to get a connection problem. So, there we go. All right. So, that will wrap it up. Thanks, Zero. Thanks for, like, 700 lift this week is that a high score for me this might be my all-time high it's pretty close we're definitely going to get top a thousand we're in tier 27 and that'll do it with time to spare too all right let's take a look at the leaderboard like i said i'm not going to make a week in review so i'll post some notes for those of you that are interested in long-term scoring it's got to be a couple of you who read my notes right Oh, uh, not friends. That's fine. I didn't manage to get... It looks like Luna beat me again. Let's look at... Three more people in the 14,000s. If you managed to make top 50, congratulations. Looks like mostly Japanese people this time, and most times. Anybody we know? Is there a Fred here that... Oh, there's, there's Luna. Shining Luna made it. Congratulations. We have a celebrity in our midst there. And then another person who watches Akaris. I've, I've learned. I've figured this out. I'm in the know. This AKA is an Akaris tag. I guess it's some inside joke for you guys. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not totally up on it. But I, I know of it. So there you go. That's top 50. Congratulations. Good job, Luna. Um, anything else? No, I think that'll do it. So let me know your thoughts, guys, um, for this week, how things worked out. I did it. I managed to do a whole week using one team just with Ike and Astrum and Lucina and Air Pals. So just letting you know, you too <laughs> can be a champion with one team. Use Ike. I'm sorry. Obviously, his banner's gone. We'll probably get another chance at Ike, but uh, I never managed to pull a single copy of him. I'm going to keep beating that horse dead because it makes me sad. <laughs> I would have loved to have a plus 10 Ike, but it didn't happen. I'm going to see. Hopefully our luck will turn around with these summoning tickets and we'll get a new focus unit. But um, that's really all I got, guys. We'll be back here again tomorrow with the start of a new Astro Week. Nothing's changed. A little unfortunate. With the same units. I'll probably go with Cecilia again. We'll have ourselves a good old time in Astra Hell. Not looking forward to it. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.